Once again, it's on. I'm Lorenzo Thomas of the Sports Brothers, and it was a big day in South Florida where the Miami Heat organization, along with all teams in the NBA, kicked off Media Day. And of course, the Sports Brothers, along with a number of our correspondents, were at the AAA getting all the details. And of course, it was a great time, and we're going to check in with Jeff Fox of the Sports Brothers. He really is Sports Brother number one to see how everything went down. Thank you, Lorenzo. Here we are, another Miami Heat media day and of course it's media day around the nba jeff fox here the beautiful Gigi fontaine our sports sister as the sports brothers get it on for you and report to you the ins and outs of media day around the miami heat Gigi around the eastern conference everybody feels like they have a chance no lebron okay they feel that way but in the words of coach spo you got to prove it. Yeah, yeah and we're, we're going to talk with Coach Spoh. We're going to talk with D-Way. We're going to hear from some of everybody as far as the Miami Heat are concerned. And we'll find out how this team feels going into the final year of Dwayne Wade. Um, I'm going to get emotional. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm already emotional. How many games? 82, right? 82-game uh, season? I'm yeah. going to cry a solid 67 times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man. I go back to this guy's rookie year. Oh. Uh, you know, we're probably going to have a street named after him. There will be a statue outside the arena. All I of saw these a things. sign. Yeah? Yeah, it says Dwayne Wade Boulevard. You're going to change this game. Wow. There's a petition. There's a lot more we're going to discover here. But uh, it all kicked off with Coach Eric Spolstra uh, speaking to the masses uh, here at the media day. You know, with the LeBron going out west, the perception is that it's Boston, Philly. Are you telling you guys... You know, why not us? Is the East being a bit more wide open this year? What do you think? Um, how do you think we're wired? Um, the one thing that we do know with the experience that we've had, you know, for the people that, that I work for, we know we're always going to be pushing to a, to a different level. Um, but with that comes, with the experience that we've had comes... Uh, a humble respect. We know how difficult it is, so people are all jumping ahead of the, the gun right now, saying, oh, the East is wide open, that's just going to be us. To get past three rounds, seven <coughs> games, uh, you have to have a team that's right. Coach, the one thing I do know, somebody's got to prove it. Somebody's got to prove it. So we feel that we have every opportunity to build uh, a team, you know, for the next six, seven months to, pre to be ready for that type of uh, fight and that type of journey. <coughs> and we don't care what, what other people are thinking or, or saying. Um, it's not as easy as people think. So they may, they may be thinking something that they're not fully aware of what, what it means. And as you heard, Gigi, the coach said it. Why not us? You know? Who cares about Boston? Who cares about Philadelphia? Why not the Miami Heat? I think we're definitely a top team in the Eastern Conference with LeBron gone. Let's kick it to D-Wade and see what he had to say. From a role standpoint, I've, already, I've always came into a season or a team willing to play whatever role is needed of me to play. So I haven't always been the number one option. I've been number one, been number two. I've been number three. I've been the clock guy on the bench. I've been it all over my career. Um, so I've always played my role to the best of my ability, whatever was asked of me. You know, you ask a player like my, like myself, do you want to start? I mean, that's, you know, that's like actually, do you want breakfast in the morning? Of course, I'm hungry. I want breakfast in the morning. Of course, I would love to. But if it's not, you know, in my role to do that, then I will play my the best role that's capable that I'm capable of for a team. Dwayne, uh, you came up with the uh, one last dance, and it's going to be emotional for a lot of people here to go through this season with you. As you think about, you know, coming here as a rookie out of Marquette and baby-faced Dwayne Wade, is there a moment that stands out through all of this that you think about that says, wow, I can't believe I did that? About the, everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, one moment where you're like, wow, I can't believe I did that. It's so hard to pick one moment out of this. This, this life that I've been able to live, you know, from, from this game of basketball. Um, you know, I can't pick one moment, you know. It's, it's all been, like, it's been amazing. It's been a blur for sure, too. Um, as I said in the video, you know, the best tell you when you come in. Um, it's, it's
it's gonna go by fast and you're like i'm just getting started i got a long way to go and then you sit up here you know right now and you're like what what happened and even though it was some great moments involved in that it still it went fast um but this whole journey and i would talk about it more you know what i mean like you guys will we got a lot of things planned you guys will hear more from me um so i don't think it's time in the in the press conference to go that deep you know into it but um it's all been it's all been amazing to me would I love to go out like Kobe did, making 25, 30 30s last year? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> would I like to, you know, would I, would I like to score 60 in my last game? Hell yeah. None of that probably ain't gonna happen. <laughs> my journey and my, my way is mine, and my story will be mine, and I have to own that. And I can't worry about, I've made a lot of money from this game, and I make a lot of money away from this game. So, you know, my that couldn't be a part of my decision. And even though it's in there, and you talk to your agents, and you this and that, uh, I didn't push for the possibly most I can get. You know, my whole thing was, you know, getting back into the season, enjoying this last year. Um, well, Wade says he hates the farewell tour idea. You know, Kobe actually told him that the farewell tour was exhausting. I think that's why he hates the idea. But he did it anyway. You guys have one for me when I hang it up. <laughs> You're never going <laughs> to hang it up. Bam, guys. I know he's a fan favorite. He's coming up, and he wrote something on his shoes, and it's really dope. Stay tuned. Thank you so much, Gigi. And this edition of the Sports Brothers is being sponsored by the Bamboo Shack. And I'll tell you this, it's great food at a great price. We have interviews with Bam, Spo, and others coming up shortly, so keep it right here. But as the Miami Heat team gets ready for the 2018-2019 season, the players express their opinions about team unity, camaraderie, and, and, and its importance because at times, many players on this Heat team in particular don't know exactly how much playing time they're going to receive. The shooter with a golden arm, Wayne Ellington, was asked, how does he feel about not knowing how much playing time he's going to receive going into each game? I think it's, it's, it's one of our strong points. Uh, I think, obviously, how deep we are at positions is going to make us a better team. Uh, I think, uh, you know, it brings out the best in guys. Um, competition always does that. Um, you know, I think guys just got to be prepared for you know, whatever, whatever, whatever comes this season. Uh, uh, it's funny, man. It's always, you know, we're having this conversation now, and then in two months or a month from now, it could be, uh, man, you know, you got so many guys down, you guys are thin, and it, we've been there before. So, um, you know, it, it, the season always works itself out. Well, the team is getting prepared for the upcoming season. This media day was all about Dwayne Wayne. The three-time champion came through with gifts for media members that were present. Uh, Lorenzo, of course. What's up, brother? <laughs> baby? How you doing, man? Now, the ongoing theme of the media day was about the last dance and how much Dwayne Wade, along with Udonis Haslam, how much they both are endearing to the players and their impact on the community. Um, you know, you just see some of the things that, that, that they do. Um, not, not just with... with uh, what they mean in the sense of when you see, you know, you hear Dwayne Wade going, going and uh, talking to kids or UD going to talking to kids, um, but you also see how the community rallies around them. And so um, I think it's, they, they've tried to, to teach us to give back and the love will come back to you. You know, every day, you know, it's just showing the leadership and uh, what it means to be a pro, you know. Um, even like before every sign, you know, I had a beach workout. I said, all right, we're going to be on the beach at, at um, 7.40 in the morning. He was there at 7.30, first one there. So so just things like that, you know, he's the only guy that came. Him and Ronnie were the two he players that came and joined the beach workout. So just things like that, man. It's just um, it's just being For me personally, I, I always want to help get something back. You know, that's the most important thing. We're not, we're not always going to play basketball. So you want to, you want to do something impactful for the community and you know d Wade is a big part of, of that and uh, this organization so we, we always try to do some with them. I think um, just him leaving, um, not really handling that well emotionally and then going into that next season getting hurt, um, it wasn't the best 18 months you know for me and, and my state of mind um, and getting him back. Um, you know going home this past all-star break to Houston put a lot of things in perspective and then getting him back and just having that energy from the fans and the city, um, it added a, a much needed sense of positivity to, to my 
to my game and to my life. You can definitely tell these players have a lot of love for D-Wade as he goes on his last dance tour to close out his career in the 305. But the Heat's future is bright, and Gigi happens to be with one of the players that Miami Heat fans really love and can't wait to see the highlights of a BAM slam going through the hoop. So first question, I noticed your shoes. What does that mean on this side of the shoe? Oh, specific. It's it's what I was raised when I was younger. Yeah. So I feel like that address made me who I am today. Okay. And it's it's a special home for me, even though I don't go as often as I should. <laughs> but it still holds a special place in my heart. I noticed it when you were standing over there. I'm like, that has to mean something. Kind of humbling for you. Okay. So I saw your workouts this summer. Your body's changing. What was the goal? Yeah, I, I see the results. What was the, <laughs> what was the goal this summer specifically going into your team? Um, just being better than I was last year. So being more versatile, being more aggressive, and helping my team not play five on four. Okay. So just being more versatile in that aspect and just keeping my body right, drinking more water. <laughs> And just maintaining, maintaining health, really, just trying to stay healthy through this 80 to game run. Okay. And how has the bond, because, you know, rookie season, you probably got haze a little bit. How's the bond now? Did you guys hang out more? Did you talk to Hassan's fishes? How did that go for you guys? <laughs> uh, they welcomed me in an open arm, so it wasn't like I was, I was getting hazed a lot. Okay. I started playing, it was like, all right, well, he's not playing like a rookie, so <laughs> so we don't see him as a rookie, so it, it was fun for the most part. I mean, we went out, everybody goes out with each other, we go to Benihana's, like, we had our little groups, sometimes UD will join us, sometimes he won't, you know, he's on his, he's on his 30, he's in his 30s, so going to the movies is not fun for him anymore. <laughs> It was great you know talking what? to you. Miami's feeling more like home, I hope. Yeah. Okay, good. And just to carry on from this whole uh, why not us conversation, Lorenzo, Gigi, uh, I you know, got a chance to speak with a couple of Heat guys who kind of just built that way. They have that DNA. They have that mental makeup to make this an interesting basketball team. And we're talking about Briante Weber and, of course, Rodney Magruder. Yeah, they're like little UD juniors. <laughs> <laughs> what you... Guys. It's the heat way. It's the heat way. Lorenzo, here's what those guys had to say. And we're here on the Miller Face. Beyonce Weber is back with the Miami Heat. Uh, when I'm you got that phone call, call to come back here, what was your first thought? I made the phone call this time. Okay. So I kind of called them and, uh, and made, made a, a suggestion and they came through. And then about a week and a half later, they called me back and was like, yeah, we're taking you up on the offer. So. We worked it out. Oh, yeah. We got the details from my agent. Got some, got some out of it. Um, worked it out, and I'm not really here to really talk about it. I'm, I'm <laughs> right. back for the second time. I know what I'm here for. Right. When you look back at your first time experience here, we remember talking to you before, and we love what you brought to the court. You brought it to nationally to your game. Um, where would you say you improved from back then? All around, I was a rookie, and I was coming off a, a surgery. I was in a big old knee brace. I was. I wasn't me at first, right. so now I know I've been around. It's my fourth year in the NBA. I've been to multiple teams. I know the NBA as, as well as anybody now, just the, just from the systems I've been in, just from the basketball that I've been introduced to. So now I know what to do in the second time around with, with Miami. Mm -hmm. You're the type of guy we all root for, you know, a guy that just likes scraps. And you play like that on the court. I remember watching you in Summer League, you know, and, and the way that you play your game. Uh, yeah, blue collar type player, man. So you bring that to this organization. I feel like it's something like there's a niche here where you can fit in. But this For sure. I mean, we're just being a, a, a role guy that can actually make everybody else around him better, and including myself, and just being a better player than I was the first time I came through. So. It's exactly, I found my, I, I, I called them for a reason. I didn't right. call them just to be around and be a, a, a back of the wall guy. I'm, I'm here to stand, I'm here to make a statement. So here's my question. You've been here before, you've been in the G League, you know the grind, you know the grind a little differently than maybe some of these other guys here. 
So knowing that, and with Coach Spoh saying training camp's going to be a little bit more vigorous this year than the first time you were here, are you ready for that? You didn't know. <laughs> I, mean, I come, I come from, from Virginia Commonwealth University. Okay. We BCU's might be, we might we might be one of the toughest teams there is okay. to play against. Uh, with, with that being said, I nothing 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 can really deter me from my goals. Lorenzo, we're back here at Miami Heat Media Day. Good friend of the show, Rodney McGruder is here, and uh, man, you look you look great, man. Uh, how, how's how's the body feel coming back off the injury last year? And uh, we still you get some minutes, but man, how do you feel overall? Overall, I feel great. You know, I, you know this summer has been really taking care of my body, you know, mm -hmm. just, you know, proper workouts and stuff like that to strengthen my body up and, you know, get me back to 100%. Right. Last year, I remember watching you towards the end of the season. Right. You were just kind of getting your feet under right. yourself. Right. And the team, of course, the way the season ended right. uh, with the loss. What do you guys take from that? You know, the experience of being in the playoffs, right. all the excitement we all felt. Right. And then the disappointing way it ended. Can you guys rally around that? Uh, I believe we can, though. Just like the way we rallied around it, you know, my rookie year when we missed the playoffs by one game. And that then, hurt, man. It, it hurt, but, you know, we made strides for the next season as yeah. well. So, you know, we just have to continue to make strides. And, you know, we get a guy like D-Way back all year. Mm -hmm. That's going to be very beneficial for our team and our culture and the atmosphere of the locker room. You know, just things that he brings to a team. So, right. you know, I, look, I really look forward to it. Good, good. How about, you know, this being his final season right. and, of course, the nostalgia around right. the whole team. Right. Uh, we're all going to be emotional. Right. Uh, what's that feeling going to be like in the locker with you guys knowing that this is D-Wade's final year? Man, just, just get as much knowledge from him as we can, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, just learn from him. You know, he's he's been up there. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's Mount Rushmore for the shooting guards in it history of the NBA. He's a Hall of Famer, you know, so it's just, you know, just pick his brain and, you know, just try to soak up that knowledge from him. Right. We talked to some of the other guys earlier. One thing you bring to the table that we all love, and my Heat fans have come to love about you guys, is the hard hat lunch pill mentality. Right. You always come to work. Right. You know, uh, it seems to be something that's kind of contagious in the locker room. Right. Is that the yeah, actual description? Yeah, yeah. Like, when you, when you sit back and look at it, Everyone on this team always had to work for whatever they had. So mm -hmm. so that's always been, I feel like that's always been everyone's on this team makeup from, from a kid. So, you right. know, so that, just continue to build on that and, you know, just work hard on that. That's why, you know, everyone has that mentality, I would say, because no one's ever been given anything. They've been worked for everything that right. they've been given. So you got to have that mentality. I would hate to play against you, man. Yeah. For real. Like, like, you know, <laughs> seriously, because, yeah. and, 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 you know, you, like a mosquito, you're like de on defense. You're, you're yeah. like, get away from me. Like, it, I right. see you antagonize right. guys, right. and I love that. Nah, I um, that. The, 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 the fact, what, what, what other parts of your game are you going to, you know, you've been working on? Uh, everything. Everything on the offensive end, because, you know, in this modern NBA, you have to be able to, do everything, put the ball on the floor, shoot off the dribble, you know, catch and shoot, mm -hmm. you know, scoring a variety of ways to be out on the floor. So I've just been, you know, working with our guys, you know, I've worked with every coach this summer, you know, to help, you know, just try to, right. you know, um, get my game on, a, on that level. Throughout the summer, what's uh, some of the stuff you uh, did just to get away? Uh, you know what, this summer I really, I really didn't. You know, I really didn't. I was just trying to focus on my body and get get back 100%, you know, I'll, I'll travel when, it's, it's a lot of time. It's time for that. Yeah, it's time for that, but really just taking advantage of taking care of my body. All right, man, good yeah. luck this year. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot. Good coach, being a father myself, I know about the late nights, you're about to get into it hot and heavy with the practice sessions. You talked about what a long night you had before coming in here for media day today. What's that experience been like so far? <laughs> it's been a blessing. I mean, fatherhood, uh, parenthood, you know, it's like what, Everybody says it is. Yeah. It's uh, totally unpredictable. It's crazy, uh, exhilarating, uh, but it's been a total blessing. My wife and I have had a, a great, great summer. Are you a team player, or are you kind of just trying to can you take care of that? I try to be, but uh, my my wife pulls uh, a lot of the weight <laughs> in our household. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm uh, very grateful for that. Uh, you know, and uh, the areas that I can help, I, I help. Right. I've changed some diapers. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, uh, during the press, we talked about the wide openings uh, in the conference. And one of your players, I won't say who, but one of your guys said that uh, the East is wide open and why not us? You know what I'm saying? And everybody else has that mentality. What's your message going to be to these guys to, to get them to believe that, you know what, we can really do this. We don't have to be Boston or Philly. Yeah. I mean, I mentioned it before. Uh, the Golden State Warriors, they can say whatever they want. Mm -hmm. They have the template. They've earned that right. Mm -hmm. Everybody else, 
uh, hasn't proven it. So we feel that we have every opportunity to, to prove it uh, as, as the next team. Um, you know, because of all the years of success that we've had, um, it's given us a humble respect mm -hmm. for how difficult it is. Uh, it's one thing to say that the East is wide open and the path is paved to get to the finals. That's another thing to have actually experienced how difficult it is to win three seven-game series. No matter, no matter who's in the East, it's yeah. difficult. I remember the disappointment of uh, 41 and 41, you know, the phenomenal second half mm -hmm. and the way you spoke and the pain at the end of that season. And then you look at last year and the disappointing finish from last year. How is that going to mold into what you guys are trying to do this year? How do you use that to motivate this team? Yeah, I think our, our guys are motivated by that pain, and that's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. you know, all the great teams usually have gone through yeah. and experienced things together that yes. were painful, and yeah. you grow from that adversity. Uh, we felt great about making the playoffs last year, uh, but we didn't feel good about our, our showing mm -hmm. uh, in the playoffs, and that has nothing to do with how we feel about Philadelphia. They earned it. Uh, they have our respect. Um, but we want to do something more you know, yeah. this year, and it's tough. Uh, one of the tougher things to do in business or in pro sports is to go from that good level to get to the great level, uh, and that's what we're trying to get to. And, what it takes is a, a full collective commitment, mm -hmm. um, you know, to to become something that we couldn't be just on our own. You're on your way, man. Trust me. Hope so. Thank, I like thanks it. for your All time. Right. Yeah, you got it. All All right. Right. So we've been here for a gajillion hours. Just kidding. It's always fun. What'd you think about Media Day? What'd you take away from this season? Um, Wade's final dance. One more dance. Uh, th 316, all that stuff. I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm, I'm not kidding. You know, we laugh a lot, but I'm going to be emotional. And I'm going to be emotional at various points of the season, but when it gets near the end, because I've seen these farewell tours. I know. You know, I've seen Kareem get a piece of the parquet floor at the, at the Boston Garden, you know, and I've seen uh, that type of thing go on. And when it comes down to it, and we know that these are the moments that number three will not be here. Uh, don't you get don't you get emotional? Well, you know I like to cry, but um, but that's that's gonna be you know. And then we think about Wade Bull, you know what's called Wade County Boulevard, Wade Boulevard. Look, it's we always gonna, gonna be street. Wade County. Period. Uh, what Dwayne Wade Boulevard mm -hmm. instead of Biscayne? Well, let me tell you something. That Wade three sixteen in my mind when I saw the shirt, I'm like, for Wade so loved the Heat fans that he gave his only begotten niece. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Media day was great. I'm excited to watch this team, mm -hmm. the camaraderie, the way they've built. Spo alluded to the fact that acclimating everybody to each other is gonna be much easier this year due to the experience together. Here's what the so-called prognosticators are gonna tell you. They don't have a superstar. They don't have a go-to guy down the stretch on any given night. It could be anybody and that could hurt them. That's what you're gonna hear. But I believe in Eric Spolster as a head coach. I'm done questioning him. I did when the big three were here. But he's he's proven himself to me. I think he'll find a way. And I'm going 45 and 37 for the yeah. regular season. I see us winning 50. What? I could be optimistic. Yeah, you're being a little too optimistic. Yeah, you guys said that when I said we were going to be 500. Yeah, and I was she, right. She didn't get it right before Lorenzo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of mystery here. We don't know. But what I do know, it's a wrap for Media Day here from the AAA been a lot of fun kicking it with the guys. Yes, Udonis Haslam gave me grief about my Oakland Raiders losing uh, to your Miami Can't Dolphins. Can't you still claim those people? Yeah, yeah, ride or die. <laughs> but we're ride or die in Miami Heat as well. And it's a wrap here from the AAA. Looking forward to an exciting season. And uh, 45, 37, you say 50? I say 50. We'll see, Lorenzo. The mystery will unfold right before <laughs> our very eyes. One last dance. With your Miami Heat, Dwayne Wade. Thank you, family. And this edition of the Sports Brothers has been brought to you by the Bamboo Shack. For Gigi, Jeff Fox, I am Lorenzo Thomas.